Well, we're back and I'm here with my first guest. I'd like to introduce my female counterpart, the lyrical mistress of Siberia, Svetlana, queen of the harpies. That is harpies, man. My bad. Anyway, Svetlana is here to not only promote her new smash single off of her new record, but she will also be performing later. It must come in handy to be so pretty and also be able to play the guitar. Ah, you, I am not a dinner roll, so I don't need to be buttered up. Tell me, how was it working with all-star producer Vach Big? Oh, he was such a pleasure to work with, easygoing and laid back. Couldn't ask for more. I will be working with Big Drubin soon on a live album I recorded back in 2 and 0 and 12. That's 2012 for any of you that are rationally challenged. I forget sometimes that I am in alternate timeline America. Don't we all? Let's take a listen to one of Svetlana's early hits. That takes me way back, music land I terrorist. So, do you think it's strange that I have a set now? The producers are clamping down on the FCC regulations, so I now have to have a set. And wear clothes apparently. And commercial breaks. It's a shame our society is so reliant on things that are so trivial. We seem to value money and glamour over self-worth and art. And things like that. We could all live a peaceful coexistence if we didn't rely on heavy machinery and big business to run our lives. In the end, we may all die because of the fear factories and fat cats that we currently rely on. Perhaps there is a feasible way to get beyond commercialism and destroy the evil spirits that are currently consuming the radio airwaves. Yes, perhaps. We're running out of time in this interview, but... So soon? Aw. Oh, I didn't even get to show off my new tattoo. Maybe next time. Next time, I'll have to wear clothes, you ignoramus. True, but you will also have a chance to show us during your performance of Ultraviolent. Yeah, maybe I'll show off my cute derriere. We'll be right back after this wonderful segment of advertisements. <laughs> 